Well, Hannah Green in the same group, and this just before Brittany closed with a birdie for Eagle at the par five. Yeah, how about three at the par five? <laughs> that tastes even better. Beauty. The more you make these, the bigger the hole starts to look. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she is on a run. Good for her. And here she is, the superstar, Mega Gane, in the very first hole of the day here, number 10. Oh. <laughs> a wonderful start. And she was also part of LPGA USGA Girls Golf, which is, uh, I, I think, one of the most successful uh, programs uh, that women's golf has ever seen. And now Dana Finkelstein on the 15th. Tough green, a lot of slope in it, but read that one perfectly. Back to the 12th K where Stacy Lewis has this approach into a short par four. Yeah, that's just a, a little sandwich, trying to hit it as straight as she can. Mel Reed's right, approach hit right of the flagstick and rolled off the green, which this whole right side of the green just melts off. I really appreciate the fact that it's a very short hole. It's the skinniest green I've ever seen, and Anna's coming in with an awkward lie, bad lie in the rough, awkward angle, but managed it so well. Great shot from that rough. Good lie off the intermediate cut, uphill lie. Wow, that's a surprising bonus that you'll <laughs> gladly take. Wow. Megagane has a long look for Birdie at this par four. He has set up to start that well to the right of the hole. So you miss from four feet and you make from 34 feet. She did. She's using an eight iron. Just trying to control this one from 149. Obviously, from the fairway, you expect it to stop a little bit better. Easy. Wow, you could hear the furnace in these greens, can't you, Judy? You could hear that. Sagstrom on the 15th. Good look at this player's view. Slightly uphill the whole way. You can see the firmness of the green as Sagstrom tries to clean up her par. Well done there. That was Leona McGuire for par at 14 after finding her second in the bunker. She's always been a great ball striker, particularly with her irons. Yeah, this one from this distance I thought was the most impressive number on there. And uh, yeah. that ball reacted not like any other ball has reacted. Uh, she hit a really good shot. She plays a little bit uphill, wind off the left. So most of these players that hit a draw, that wind will knock it down a little bit and take some of the distance off as well. Firm greens, you've got to look to land this one short and let it hop on. Drew it up perfectly. Just like that. <laughs> and I think when I, when I think about Jin Yan and her caddy Dave book, I mean, he basically tells her what she needs to do and where she needs to aim it, where she needs to hit it, and she can produce the goods just like that. <laughs> yeah, he certainly is a good navigator to her skills and then she found this secret weapon before the portland tournament that she has in her hands right now and it kind of turned things around for her is this enough speed it's got to go there you go and keeping that momentum going with the putter and one of the other par threes on the back nine the 17th only 107 yards paula rito missed the green however leaving a little bit of a tough chip but a good catch and an easy, a nice two, I should say, not an easy two, a nice two on the card. And this is the Anna McGuire with her approach into 16. From 100 yards, and this is on a really good line. Players pretty much think of this first as um, a little bit of an easy beginning, something to get you warmed up. Yeah, relatively generous off the tee. Wow. 
keeps it rolling. First hole, her 10th of the day, and she is five under. And Maria Fossi at the tee on the par 3 15th. One of the few players we've seen with an iron, one of the more powerful players on the LPGA Tour. And just one of the softest bounces we've seen as well. Yeah, she took a gap wedge and just took something off it, controlled the trajectory, good line to it. And made that dance nicely. Ooh. I think one of the hardest things about the shortest R threes like this one is, is teeing it up. It's not often you get to, to tee up a wedge. This one drifting a little bit to the right. Made it dance. Give it a little too much respect. We mentioned the length of the golf course. It actually, is, yes, it plays short or it is short on the card, but it does provide a lot of opportunities for hitting different clubs in the bag. Now Leona McGuire on the 17th tee. Been pretty accurate with her short stuff today, Paige. And this one looks like it's a good line as well. <laughs> I mean, she holds these regularly at the Solheim Cup. Look really solid. Oh, it's mm. a break really quick. Yeah, that dove. Didn't look like a bad stroke, just didn't quite have it high enough. Nicole Brock Estrop, formerly known as Nicole Brock Larson, recently wed. And what a great shot there. Uh, with a very short arm. Let's get up to now, Young Choi at 18. It's a long look at Birdie. Slam down. As 123 yards. Stacy going with a just a little pitching wedge. Right over the flag stick. As we go up or back, I should say, to 16 and find Maria Fassi for birdie from the fringe. And in that goes now. Baby fist pump on a Friday. Much needed to get her back to even par on the day. Green's a firm doubt. It's about controlling your spin on this approach. Very nicely done. She's got a birdie look on this very short par three. Better stroke there, Judy. Yeah, far better. And back-to-back uh, -back birdies. Ball is above her feet, though, so this one should be moving a little bit to the left. Should ride the wind, which is switched to a slight help at the moment. This one going maybe just a yard right to the flag. Excellent. What a shot. On those ones, you just have to be really committed to the line. I mean, what a great position to start from with the putter. I mean, just perfect lines, but... It broke hard and then it just stopped breaking. I mean, the putter looks so good in her hands at the moment, Judy. And here is Garnet on 17. Not a lot of room between that front fringe and hole location. Couldn't have placed it. Nicely done. Yeah, you take more loft when there's very little green to work with and maybe take some less when you can run the ball out like a putt. Hole is deep in the green and just on the right side. Lovely. Yeah, she's performing well, isn't she? One bogey on her car. Yeah, as we watch Perrine, uh, that's the very first time I saw her play was watching uh, the Rio Olympics. Ooh, good putt. Now Anna Nordquist from the fairway at the first. 
went after that sandwich hard, a good full one. Very nice.